First, we wanna start by brushing the hair and getting out all of the tangles. You might even find that it's a little bit easier to do if your dancer's hair is wet. And then you can take a bobby pin and using that, you can part your dancer's hair either in the middle or on the side, wherever their natural part is. Next, we're just gonna brush down and make a low ponytail, almost in line with the ears towards the top of the neck. One thing you may not know is that by twisting the ponytail before you start making the bun shape actually helps to keep all those fine hairs in place a little bit easier. So once you've twisted the whole ponytail, you'll start wrapping it around clockwise around the ponytail holder and securing it with bobby pins. One of our best friends when making a ballerina bun is our hair net. And you can find almost whatever hair color shade you need at a drugstore, Walgreens, CVS, even Walmart, or a beauty supply store. And we're gonna take the hair net, opening it out, putting it over the bun, twisting it, and then just continuing to layer it over the bun and securing that in place with more bobby pins. Another helpful trick is that as you're putting bobby pins in place, if you kind of put them in an X position, one and then the other, it helps secure it a little bit better. And then finally, we're just gonna brush back any loose pieces, what we call wispies, spray them with hairspray, and there you have it. We hope that this helps your bun making experience a little bit easier.